Hello and welcome to 30 Days of Ableton Push. Today we're going to start talking about drum editing. So today I have a sequence that I programmed and we're going to be using this to show a couple of editing features. Yesterday Daniel Davis left a comment that reminded me about a feature with the repeat button. When we use repeats it not only uh, does the steps for us but it will also take the pressure sensitivity as you hold down the repeat button. So let's take a look at that. All right, so let's record that. So as you see, it's taken our pressure and turned it into velocity. And you can tell by the color of the lights, the lighter colors, are lighter velocity and the darker colors are a higher velocity. So another thing that you could do that I've shown in the note mode is you can edit your sounds. So if we click on device, which I've already clicked, and then we go to instrument, actually let's select that clap. So we'll select the clap and then inside we can go in and then turn the volume down then we can also if we want to just hear that sound we could just solo it to make sure that whatever details we're trying to change we can hear all of them so you have uh, also mute so you can mute out any of the drum cells which also you can use for performance if you would like. So I want to point out the cells here that I have sounds loaded in are brighter yellow and the ones that do not are a darker yellow and the one that you have selected is blue so lastly for today let's talk about undo and redo uh, for this example i'm going to select this tom let's turn the repeat off so let's say i want to record in another tom hit and we don't like that. Let's say, let's say I want to record another Tom hit. So I can go in here and check it, which one I want to do. Let's say I want to record another Tom hit. All right, so I know what I want to play. I'll record it. Turn that off. So let's say we didn't like that hit and we wanted to take it out. Well, one way would be it's just pressing on it and deleting it. So now that we've deleted it, let's say that we want that note to come back. Well, one thing that we could do is perform it again or enter it back into the step sequencer. But with that, you may end up having slightly different timing than you did before. And especially on the grid, it, it locks it in. A way to get back exactly what you would put is just to do the undo. If you change your mind again, you can always redo. Once again, this is Josh Spoon, 30 days of Ableton Push, and I'll see you tomorrow.